Hey, what's up? Pete's Loving Nerd here. Today, I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite elementary OS applications. Now, um, elementary OS sort of has its own ecosystem where uh, you can... It's got its own ecosystem with its own apps and stuff. So if we open up the App Center, for example, um, that, and go to a random category, there's curated apps right here. So audio, for example... There's curated apps, so that's what I'll be considering an elementary app, if it's a curated app by elementary. So, the first, so I'll be doing this list from the most useful, or the most use, the uh, least useful to the most useful. So the first app is Nimbus, now this is actually a widget for the desktop, which means if I get another application, it, um, it goes under as it's, as if it's a widget, sort of. So this is a widget for your desktop and it's very simple so what it does is it detects your location and it just gives you the temperature and the weather outside so that's nimbus pretty nice all right so the next program i will be showing you is called translator now this is just a simple translator it works with chinese czech dutch english estonian finnish french german greek italian Jap Japanese, Japanese, Korean, Latin, Polish, Portuguese, Russian, Serbian, Slovak, Spanish, Swedish, Turkish, and Ukraine, Ukrainian. So what you do is you just type in something. So I type hello and then translates it to whatever it is. So I, I can do German, for example. I've been wanting to learn German, but I could do hello. Or I could do subscribe to Pizza Loving Nerd. I'll do this. Okay. So, um, that's, that's, uh, Elementary OS's translator. The next one is we have Cypher. Now, this is pretty cool. Um, you type in a phrase, like, subscribe to Pizza Loving Nerd. And, um, and then you type in, and you do in Cypher, and it basically turns it into a Cypher. Now, this is a Caesar Cypher do three you can do um 26 <laughs> that, that's useless 25 and you can also decipher it so like if i copied this i could do um decipher so pretty nice now it's not just with caesar ciphers it also works with an at bash cipher but it would be a square cipher rot 13 cipher base base 64 cipher or i believe that's hexadecimal or a hash function um, all right, so it's got base64 encoding, hash function encoding, and ASCII encoding. So, yeah. Now, that's in Cypher. It also has a white and dark theme. Or, did I say in Cypher? It's actually Cypher. Now, the next one is called Pwn Checker. Now, this is basically an, uh, an application version of HaveIBeenPwned.com. So, you can type in a password. Like this one I just came up with. And then hit check, and oh no, this password's been pwned 41 times. Now, um, you can also do an email, like example at example.com, or I'll just do, yeah, I'll do that, and hit check, and as you can see, it's been involved in 92 breaches. So that's pwned checker, pretty useful. Now the next program is called Lottery. Now what this is, is um, you add a bunch of names, like subscribe... I can do two pizza loving nerd. So you add in a bunch of names. And what this allows you to do basically is there's also support for keyboard shortcuts. So there's names, choose a randomly choose a window, search, cheat cheat. I don't know what that is. Oh, just this. And you can also import names from a CFV if you have one. So um, then if I want to choose a winner. You just hit this button, and yeah. Now, a while back when I did the Zorna West giveaway, this is actually what I used to get the winner, so, yeah. Okay, so the next program I'll be showing off is called Fondo, and basically this lets you get wallpapers off of InSplash, so it's got a bunch of nice wallpapers, like this one. I could do this this one, because we all like Pepsi. Uh, so there's nice of lots... Lots of cool images that I can use as wallpapers. Ooh, I like this one. 
So, yeah. Now, um, the wallpaper I was using earlier in the video is actually from this, so... Ooh, this reminds me of Mac OS. I'm gonna use this one. This wallpaper right here. So that's Fondo, just a simple wallpaper viewer. Um, it's powered by InSplash, so yeah. So the next one I'll be showing you is called Quilter. Now this is a simple markdown note writer thing. So I could type in notes in markdown like that, and then I can go to preview. So that's mark. So um, yeah, it's also got a dark mode and a sep uh, sep sepia mode. Um, it's also got a built-in markdown cheat sheet. Cheat sheet. Sorry. Um, you can search for text, stuff like that. Now, there should be- there is a sidebar, too, um, somewhere. No, you can also export it to HTML. So, somewhere. You can enable a sidebar, I believe. There's also focus mode. Typewriter scrolling. Type of focus mode. Yeah. Um, let's see. I- I'm, I could've- I'm pretty sure that there was a, uh... Sidebar, I guess there isn't, but I saw an image with a sidebar. Anyway, so that's uh, Quilter, just a simple markdown editor, pretty nice. Um, I really like its dark theme, and yeah, it's also got this mode and um, a light theme. Now, focus mode just makes this these like smaller, so it doesn't distract you. And yeah, it also changes the font in preview mode, so like um, I could do another test here. And Sheriff, just normal Sheriff and Monospace, so I like that one the best. So that's Quilter. So the, ne the next one I will be showing you is Melody. Now this is a nice music player. Now Elementary OS does come with a music player simply called Music, but this is sort of just an iTunes knockoff, I feel like, and I don't really like it very much. It This, this one is much better. It has a nicer interface. It's got a dark mode. And I just like this one better. And I actually like this music player so much that sometimes I use the Flatpak version on other operating systems. So, yeah. Other Linux distros, I mean. So that's Melody. Alright, so the second to last one I'll be showing you is called Code, and this is a simple IDE. So I, I'll open a test thing I made earlier. Oh, that's, that's CSGO, oof. Here we go. So I made this on, this is my, actually my second take doing this video, but um, it's a very nice code editor here. So I can do um, print, um, how well, and then world. And then I can save it. And then I can also pull up a terminal right here. The, if you go in the preferences, there's um, quite a few extensions actually. So there's Vim emulation, um, words completion, Spell checker, which I'm gonna enable. You can share files of pastebin and get a browser preview if you're working with uh, with web pages and bracket completion. So as you can see, we got all of our extensions right here now. So yeah. And anyways, now that I have a terminal here, so if I want to, I could do Python. This one, and as you can see, it works perfectly. So very nice IDE. I really like it. So. Yeah, that's elementary code. Now the last program I'll be showing you is called Spice Up. Now this is a PowerPoint alternative. It's sort of like LibreOffice Impress and Mike OS Keynote. Now um, I got Impress right here, um, and this is Spice Up. Now I actually like Spice Up's interface better than I do LibreOffice's LibreOffice Impress. So it's very easy to use. I can just create a uh, new um, a new uh, th slide or a new what's it called? I I don't know. Um, I can create a new one down here. There's nice. There's lots of different patterns you can do. Um, white wall, and then if I want to add text, I just click this button right here. Um, and then I could change the font to something this if I want to. I could change the font size. I could do bold. And yeah, 
And then if I want to add an image, I just click here. And if I want to insert a shape, I can click here. And then I can make it go under the text. So, pretty nice um, PowerPoint or uh, presentation viewer slash editor. I really like it a lot. Um, I do per I this is probably I do prefer this to LibreOffice Impress because LibreOffice is a lot more complex. So, yeah, that is uh, that's Spice Up. That's my favorite elementary OS app. So. Yeah, the last three I install on other distros sometimes. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in my next one.